Oh, man. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this Q&A that we promised in the last video that we will have. My name is Marcus Matson and this is Jesper Eklund. We have a lot of experience from the MDF industry. I've been working with installations, startup and sales. So I'm also working in Suns Fibertech. I'm working with process technology, technical sales and also out with the customers with startups and installation. The first questions that we have received and we would like to, to answer is it is about a steam separator. We have a, a viewer here that will be into our home page and see that we are promoting uh, our steam recovery system. Steam recovery has been on the topics now for the last years. It's a product that many customers are thinking about. If you save steam, you also save money. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is clear. And we have, we have checked and well, we made a calculation and if you can save one uh, ton of steam every hour, that equals to 4,000 tons of bark that you don't need to burn in your energy plant every year. Yeah, and also for some it's not just about saving money, it's also that over the years the plants have increased their capacity. Now they see that, okay, our energy plants start to be the bottleneck. So if we can save some steam, we can increase our capacity. So that is the two main drivers why you would like to, to use a steam recovery system. But Marcus, what is the normal amount of steam? you say from, from a line? Uh, I would say depending on the size, but we see between one to five tons of steam per hour. One ton for a smaller line and then of course five tons for a big line up to maybe 40 or 50 tons of fiber production per hour. Yeah, so that's around 30% of the steam you have in the blow line. Approximately, I would say 30% of the steam in the blow line because you will need some, some steam uh, remaining in the blow line. Yes, and you also have the limit of how much steam you can take back because you take the steam off the refinery in the blow line and you transport it up to the pre-steaming bin. And in the pre-steaming bin, you can only reach 90-95 degrees. Yes, yes, yeah. After that, uh, there's no meaning to recycle anymore because it will just come back into the system as condensate anyway. So. Yeah, it's useless. Or, or go out. So We have received one question about the different types of steam recovery system. Uh, they have seen that we are using one type and that there is also another type on the market. We have chosen to use the non-mechanical steam separation where we use the velocity you have in the blow line which creates the centrifugal force and push the fiber out to the outer bend and the steam we can take out in the inner bend. Yes, and on the mechanical steam separation system they use a, a mechanically driven rotor that is accelerating the steam and the fiber and by that creating a centrifugal force so they can transport the fibers on the outside to the exit of the fiber and then the clean steam on the inside. Yeah. There is a mechanical and a non-mechanical way of doing it and which system is then the best? The best selection must be the one that is easiest to operate, easiest to install, and the lower, lower cost investment. I agree. I mean, yeah. it, it comes down to how much do this system cost to invest in, and also how easy is it to install and operate it. So based on that, this is the main reason why we have used this as our solution for a steam recovery system. Yes. So before the next video, make sure to subscribe and put your comments below. So we see you in the next video. Hello. Subscribe. <laughs>